talk about the station designs in general. So let's say I have a station here, I have an incoming line and an exit line, right? So the most generic things you can do is put a signal there, a signal there, and you are good to go. But uh, let's talk about the basic principles or basic designs behind all of that. So here is the station where you enter. The best thing you can do is have a signal as close to the station as possible, which is this one. But this setup doesn't really help us because we need more than one station. So what you do, you move one tile back right and obviously you need to have um, the station uh, chopped up to blocks like block one block two uh, and path signal will take care of the rest but you need the signals at the exit so you can do it further but it's still as close to the entry as possible. But I've seen many people doing something like this, that you place signals there. And in general, so this is the split point, right? This is the split point and between this and these stations, you don't want any signals at all. Um, if you have the signals there, then a trains come in and maybe see something that he can go that way and will block the entire part here so no other trains can get in and if a train stuck on this platform and another one is stuck on this side then it even if it's empty they cannot get in there so you need to remove these signals and keep that as close as possible so when you have a bigger station let's say six right and you still have one track coming in like so you still don't want to have signals between the split and the stations you want to have signals afterwards like that right and also at the exit um, signals there signals to break up the individual platforms and then signals outwards okay so that's a clean stuff so what if if we are building a terminus because that's the most common one right it's the same id so this is the entry side of the terminus station with these obviously meaning that um, now they can enter all three of these and you cannot really put this split closer because you have to manage the exits and you manage the exits with bridges or tunnels it, it's up to you so now you just 
merge these together and you have your exit lane right now if you want to keep these cross tracks uh, clean then you leave a train length let's say the train length is five so you put a signal there and there and um, maybe even here but that's not really necessary so these pieces will always be um, train free if you don't care about that you can send um, the signals back to where the exit lane begins so that's your basic setup and it is probably as close as it possible um, yes you can push it one tile closer and put the bridge here right for this it doesn't really matter but that's the closest you can get and and that's the idea that you want to use at any kind of station um, if we take a look at example this is the station as close as possible if we check another station this is the uh, path signal and nothing while coming in here because they can have that's why we have path signals they can find their path in there on the exit side you can break it up to more blocks it gives you a little bit of better flow maybe but that's about it it's on the same on this one here is the path signal and nothing between the platforms and the path signal and some at the exit right yeah here it's the same you have the entry the three platforms and the exits uh, the signals here to exit and you can put there more signals here it doesn't really matter and if you enter on the bottom then you exit on the top just to keep them in synchron it's the same this is the signal and nothing between them and signals on the exit right uh, it's using the same principle as close as possible split split and signals on the exit and that's the same example we have seen uh, this is on that track for the exit and not on this one uh, Roro or Terminus keep this as close to the station as possible and on the incoming way don't have any other signals and if you are using a Roro then you're coming in here uh, as close as possible exit signals here or ex signals on the exit to be precise and even here although it's a really bad design to enter here but as close as possible and then they can go in here on these tracks and then exit as well so in it's the same in principle here you can see a good example signal there split and we could use some more grain trains over there and if you have such a fast trains as these maglevs uh, having a little extra bit here it doesn't really matter too much uh, technically yes I should have this over here but the terrain doesn't allow me to do that and so that's why it is different yes same here here is the exit signals this is the entry 
and as close as possible. Um, same here, as close as possible, exit signals and so on. Same here. Um, you can argue that this could be closer and you are not wrong, but here I do have enough space to hold more trains and it's working as intended. So no harm done and while they entering they lose no speed. And this is the same as close as possible, split and then exit. Just have an added overflow to the mix. Same here. 